Our full moon is coming and it brings with it the beginning of eclipse season. On March 25th, just before 2 a.m. Central Time, our full moon will arrive and it will be a lunar eclipse. This lunar eclipse takes place in the Vedic signs of Virgo, which is where the moon will be, and Pisces, which is where the sun will be. This energy is combined with the two karmic planets of Rahu and Ketu. And whenever the moon and the sun align with these two planets, it brings eclipse season. Now, eclipse season is a period of time when the full moon and the new moon align with eclipses. Energetically, it tends to bring upon a lot of intuition, secrets come to the surface, and it's simply a time where the veil is very thin. It enhances your opportunity for overcoming emotional karma. Now, in my opinion, karma is simply your emotional reaction to circumstances in your life. And with eclipse season, this is that period of time. It usually lasts around a month when it's really heavy. And this is that period of time where emotional triggers show up in your face. And they come up in your face for you to clear because realize that karma is that repetitive action, those repetitive behaviors, those repetitive responses that keep your life the same. So during eclipse season, you'll be faced with lots of challenges. And these are not problems, but they're challenges which you can overcome. So it's super important to take the time to meditate and tune within during this time. The emotions get hypercharged and triggers will show up. So please take a few moments for yourself every single day these next few weeks so that you can really have an opportunity to clear. That's why we're here. So in Virgo, which is where the full moon will be, what's in a section of Virgo called Hasta. Now in Sanskrit, Hasta means hand. And the power, the Shakti of this nakshatra, this section of the zodiac, is its ability to reach for that which it wants and to take it. And this is not about being selfish or reaching for things that are not yours. This is about you tapping into your own self-worth and reaching towards that which you deserve. So through this full moon, you may find yourself being faced with triggers that bring up your unworthiness because the only reason we don't reach for things that we want is because we don't believe we're worthy or deserving of them. So this full moon lunar eclipse is a time for you to check in. Well, where do I feel unworthy in my life? Do I feel like it's not possible for me? Well, I want to remind you that you are a divine being. You showed up on this earth, which means that you are deserving and worthy of being here. And love and joy and freedom is our birthright. And we have so much free will that we can choose to be bound in this life. We can choose to stay trapped in our patterns. So this full moon lunar eclipse is the opportune time for you to clear those patterns, those patterns that keep you stuck, that make you feel and think and believe that you are not worthy of the things you desire. You are worthy of them. So use these next few weeks, especially with this lunar eclipse, to check in with your feelings of unworthiness. Recite what you will say when it shows up, meaning that give yourself a plan. Give yourself a plan. When you feel unworthy, give yourself some tools to remind you of your worth. These can be affirmations, they can be maybe a photo or a quote or something that reminds you of your worth because you are worthy. Draw in what you want. Feel free to take some actions. Reach towards that which you want. 
Now, during eclipse season, it is important for you not to make huge life-changing decisions that are somewhat impulsive because the energy is somewhat precarious. I do want to remind you that this is a time of clearing mostly, but it also is that clearing of unworthiness. That's really the theme during this lunar eclipse. So let's see what the tarot cards have to say about this lunar eclipse. Okay, the first card that came up was the Hanged Man. Now, this is a major arcana card. It's a card that typically has a lot of significance. This card shows a man hanging upside down by his own free will. It implies that during this lunar eclipse time, this eclipse season, it's important for you to take a pause and to simply wait. It's a time when really sacrificing and pausing and just holding off on any decisions is very important or it's very useful right now. He is hanging from the tree of life, and so there's a lot of trust within this card. It simply implies that there may be a stall or a little bit of a delay on things you want to move forward. And truly, when we have eclipse season, it's a time when things become obscured. So it is a beautiful time for you to pause and be more of a witness. The second card that showed up is the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles shows a man juggling two pentacles and they're wrapped within an infinity sign. Behind him is a very tumultuous ocean where ships are being tossed. And what this shows is that this man, even though he's got a bit of a concerned look on his face, he does know how to juggle and manage multiple things. And that infinity sign can imply that he has the infinite capacity to handle challenges and obstacles. So it's a really powerful card for creating balance in your life. Make sure that you are balanced with your home life, your work life, your finances are balanced, your spiritual life is balanced, and it's really a time for you to understand that you can handle anything even when it feels like there's a lot going on. And this combined with the hanged man shows that sometimes you're going to need to pause and be a witness rather than continually acting all the time. The final card that showed up was the Ten of Pentacles, and this depicts a, an older man sitting on something like a throne adorned with a really wonderful cape, meaning that he has acquired everything he's wanted to acquire in this life. Now, it came after a lot of hard work and a lot of practical thinking, and so what this implies is that if you use this period of time to pause, to review some of those triggers, those emotional triggers that show up for you, that you will be able to navigate them. You have an infinite capacity to navigate the challenges. And once you do so, you will be successful. So it's a really wonderful reading implying that it is going to require some effort. It's going to require some practicality, but you are completely capable of it and it shows success for the future. So my name is Tage from Evolve with Tage and take a look below to see some of my full moon events as well as my other offerings. I offer astrology readings and tarot readings remotely. So schedule a session soon and be sure to subscribe.